Time heals all wounds. I can't help but think this saying was a thing long before the advent of recordable media. It makes even less sense now in the digital age, when something small and forgotten from the past can creep up unexpectedly at any time and mess things up for everybody. While we're on the subject, let me introduce you to the VHS tape. A relic from simpler times, video cassettes were used primarily for recording Burger King commercials off of TV and sometimes capturing awkward family moments. In Ringu, videotape is used as a means to enact perpetual vengeance against the world and spread a curse that kills its recipient in seven days. This brings us to Reiko, investigative journalist who has stumbled upon a story that initially seems hard to believe. Her niece and some other kids all died at the exact same time of the same mysterious circumstances at several different places. Following her only lead, Reiko goes to the cabin that all of the friends stayed at a week prior. Everything appears normal, although Reiko is drawn to an otherwise unremarkable tape stashed in the corner of a bookshelf. Watching the tape, she sees an extremely rare, unreleased music video from Nine Inch Nails. Confused and disturbed by the experience, Reiko gets in touch with her estranged, emotionally distant ex-husband, Ryuji, who also watches the tape. Being more of an Oingo Boingo fan, Ryuji is unimpressed by what he's witnessed, but nevertheless decides to help Reiko figure out just what the deal is with this recording and why people are dying from it. After her young son secretly watches the tape in the middle of the night, an increasingly distressed Reiko realizes that the clock is ticking and time is not on their side. Digging deeper and further into the mystery, Reiko and Ryuji trace a series of clues to a distant island where they discover a tale of psychics, scandal, exploitation, murder, public humiliation, and a volcanic eruption that set it all off. Needless to say, there's a lot more to this haunted video than they initially thought. And really, that's mostly the case with Ringu as a whole. While there is a sinister and eerie undertone through the movie from start to finish, it really is more about solving the mystery aspect of the plot and a bitterly separated couple reconciling their differences for the sake of their child. Make no mistake, when this movie wants you to shit bricks, it goes for it. But the overall deal isn't a fright a minute shock fest you're probably expecting. But if you prefer your horror to have more of an oblique and dramatic narrative with just a hint of tragedy, Ringu will do you right. This movie kicked off a whole subgenre of horror in Japan, which eventually found its way to America with severely diminishing returns. The novels are fairly decent as well if you're some kind of nerd who likes to read. Sadako might not be in the same iconography as other characters like Freddy, Jason, or Leatherface, but in her own way, she'll get under your skin, which may or may not be literal. <laughs>